Should I say I am a racist? Well, I think that's a question that we need to really look into it. And, and I want us kind of to talk. What I consider racism and how many times I, I seen racism, I seen, you know, abuse. So then, you know, for us kind of to make a, you know, to make our own mind and, you know, support racism or, or stand against racism. So I am Kolbatia and welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, please, you know, do subscribe to my channel and help me, you know, grow the channel as such. You know, whenever you subscribe, it help, you know, grow the channel. Whether, whenever you like my video, it's help grow the channel. Whatever you comment, it's help grow the channel. That's how you support me. Look at this example. I strongly believe that it's because of the color of my skin that I, when I was there in the park, putting my camera together, this group of young, no, they, they weren't young, this group of white people that sitting opposite to me, they decided to call the police because they think that as a black person or a group of black men, nothing good that come from us if we gather in a park and if we're putting something together. It's only a bomb that we are pulling together or it is a gun that we are pulling together so that we can take and then go just shoot people and kill people. Because that's what, you know, we have been recognized of. And that's why the media portray that, you know, we are like that. Do you think that if that's a white person that, you know, sitting there in the park, putting the camera together, this group of white people are going to call the police? No, they wouldn't do that. Because hmm? in their mind, evil will only come from people of, with color, from black people. And that's how society embedded that in our head. In life, there is more than just the skin. There is more than just what, you know, coming out of somebody's mouth. But the society as such is infested, infested from the highest level till the, you know, bottom. When leaders using a term which incite racism, what about the person? What about the ordinary job block? When you go seeking for job because of your name sound different, not the ordinary name, because your accent sound different, because your passport is look different, or because your birth certificate is different, you don't get the same treatment as somebody else? What about promotion in jobs? You know, because you look different, you're not the ordinary type of the person which need to fulfill the role of a manager or director or chief executive, you're overlooked. What is that? It's no racism. When you walk on the street, and that's happened to me quite often, I walk on the street on the pavement, somebody coming the other side, as soon as you know, they look at me and say, you know, this black, big, bald guy coming is a danger to my life because all black people, they're dangerous. So then, you know, they move, they move, they, they switch, you know, to the other side. That is typically racism or sitting in the train in the underground or metro, whatever you call it. Somebody sit, come in and sit in face of you. They look at you as soon as they see that, you know, you're black, they close their eyes. That's happened to me quite often. Do you know the feeling that created in me, the emotion that created in me? Is push me to question my life and to question myself, you know, as, as, as a human being. The question, the value that, you know, I should or I shouldn't give to myself. That I am human enough? Should I be treated with respect or dignity? Should you be treated with respect and dignity? You know, this, this thing, sometimes when I talk about it, it makes me so angry, so disappointed that, you know, we allow society, human being, to be reduced to a certain degree where weakness of our own ability or inability push us, you know, to treat people as animals, as no, as no value human being. 
you know, you could say that, you know, you are no racist. I'm no racist. And that's happened many times. I'm no racist, you know. I have a friend, you know, I have black friends, you know, and so and so. But being racist is not just about your actions or the word you said you don't say. Being racist is equally important to understand that when you shut your mouth, when you don't call up your friends or your parent or your family member, or your sister about the action of racism, that is corroborating with racism on your side. If you believe strongly that racism is wrong, so that you have to stand up against racism and stand up even against the people that you love when you know that you know they're acting as racist. And that's when we will really deal with racism, you know, as such. Call people out, you know, shame them. Make them understand what action, you know, they're taking is against your integrity, is against the way that you believe and see people, other people. And when you do that, then, you know, I can call you, you are not racist. But if you are not able to do that, so then racism will kind of get rooted in our society, in our thinking and in our actions. When news has been portrayed about crime, you know, and the way, I think there was, yes, I think that's this example, right? Um, y yes, you know, the guy that went and then, you know, the terrorist that guy and then murder people in New Zealand. So here you have it, the example, how the media portraying a white person murderer and no white person murderer. Just read it, you know, side by side. I'm not going to comment. The white is Angelic Boy and the non-white is Isis Mania. What do you think? That is typical racism. That's typical brainwashing people to believe that, you know, certain people, they behave, they act this way, and other people, they behave and act this way. Look at, you know, look at how, you know, we portray uh, good and evil, angel and, and, and devil. Angel are all white, you know, wearing white stuff, and when they come with the light and all those kind of things. And evil, and devil. Dark, black, with red, everything is dark, and so and so. Till even, you know, like black people even thinking that everything's, everything that is black is evil. And that's how we, you know, people brand being washed to believe that everything that is good should be white everything that is bad should be black if you disagree with me just let me know what do you think that it is that's no institutional racism would you say something different do you have other argument to put that i don't think so but that's the thing that we live in every single day have you ever let, let me put it that way Every morning I wake up, I want to step out, I think about the color of my skin. When I'm out, people look at me, the first thing I think about it, I think about the color of my skin. Have you ever thought about your color of skin? If you have, then you, you understand what I mean. How many young boys and young black girls and do everything to bleach their skin to become white. Because all the dolls, all the princesses, they're portrayed as a white. How many, you see, black, you know, girls and so on, you know, paint their hair color as a blonde? There's no blonde black person. Why? Because they want to look different. They want to look like, you know, whatever the media portray, whatever, you know, fashion agency portray. Beauty is in diversity. Let me put it that way, yeah. Diversity is beautiful. I am beautiful because I feel beauty in myself. I feel my color is different. You know, I feel my future are different. 
When I look at myself in the mirror, I see only beauty. I come to understand that me is me. There is no replacement. There is no copy of me. So whoever loves me or whoever like me, they like me because what it is, what they see, what who I am. And I cannot change that. I won't change that. If you have different argument, yeah, against what I what I'm saying or for what I'm saying, please use the comment box below. You know, speak up. You know, I hope that you know. It's not today that you know people are talking about Black Lives Matter, and tomorrow they even forget about what what that means. They forget about the suffering of you know people who color the suffering. They forget about the institutional racism. They forget about what happening in the thing in in every single decision that they're making that re reinforce that racism that you know experience in the society. And also, I think you know for black people is. It's time to say enough is, is enough. It's enough of those killing, of senseless killing, senseless murdering of people because, you know, somebody decided, you know, you, you don't deserve to live. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe. And if you like this video, please like it and share it. You know, let's make the world a better place to be in because we are part of that world. Thank you and blessing to you.